hello guys welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to show you how i got my hair this silky and what products techniques that i use to allow it to last up to seven weeks okay so i'm first starting off with clean wash blow dried hair i wash my hair with a joyco moisturizing shampoo and conditioner and when my hair was moist, I added in the olive oil uh, moisturizing hair lotion, as well as the jojoba oil. These products weren't only used as a moisturizer, but also as a leave-in conditioner. Go visit my last video to see what blow dryer I use and the technique I use to blow dry um, in preparation for the silk press. So let's take a look at what I'm doing now. Um, I'm slicing very thin sections and going through very slowly with my Babyliss Pro uh, flat iron, ensuring that I only make one pass. Making one pass will ensure that your hair does not receive heat damage and that it does revert um, once you wash out the silk press. I don't advise that you do a silk press any closer than three weeks unless you're looking to heat train your hair. That's a whole other video, a whole other discussion. Um, but in order to keep a healthy natural hair with your natural curl and bounce um, I do not recommend silk pressing your hair sooner than three weeks here I am on the other side taking my time going through uh, as you can see, I, that the slices are very thin. I really enjoy re-watching re this video. The key to keeping your silk press is to not expose it to any moisture. I cover my hair during all of my showers for the last seven weeks. When it rained outside, I had a plastic processing cap in my pocketbook that I would cover my hair on my way in and out of the car, right? To ensure that not one raindrop touches my hair. I did not, however, sleep in the shower cap. <laughs> I had a cousin, I silked her out one day for an event and she slept in her shower cap. The next day had to come back to the salon right before the event to have her hair silked out again. And that's because, you know, she built up sweat on her head overnight and her entire silk purse reverted. So do not wear the shower cap to sleep. Wear a silk bonnet to sleep. And if you follow that technique, your silk press will last you as long as it can. Now, though I kept mine for seven weeks, I'm not gonna advise you to do the same. Please wash your hair. Washing your hair and scalp is part of a healthy routine. Because I didn't have time on my side and I was very busy, I kept my silk press in for seven weeks. Here we go. This is the final result. Tell me what you think. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you try it out and how it worked for you and how what's the longest you've ever kept your silk press.
Thank you for watching. Bye.